All right, next question. Who is the mother of the civil rights movement? Civil Shepherd. <laughs> oh, man. It's Rosa Parks. That's 17 wrong in a row. This game is rigged. <laughs> what is going on with you? Relax, it's just a game that you're horrible at. Hey, 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 hey. No fighting in the teacher's lounge. Yeah, you gotta fight in the cafeteria with the rest of the kids. <laughs> Why are you so upset anyway? Well, I know because I've seen his school records. And it would be unprofessional for me to say, but let's just say it rhymes with, didn't graduate. <laughs> that wasn't even clever. He just said it point blank. What's he talking about, Tony? You graduated with us. Look, I failed my final history exam. I didn't get my diploma. Are you happy now? But you were at the prom. So was the DJ. Why couldn't you tell us? Why would I? Look how you treat me when I get a couple of answers wrong. Well, actually, it was 18 in a row. Hey! See what I'm saying? I hope you're proud of yourself, Jamal. Yes, sir. I graduated. <laughs> Flying colors. Box office sensation Marcus Jackson is being prosecuted for his recent mishap with the paparazzi. I find you guilty as charged and order you to teach a class at South Central High School. Marcus, the man I've been chasing. Bobby, hey, baby. Hey, look, if you're going to ask me to read those scripts, I still say nobody. Scripts? What scripts? Right there. Think of them as checks. Mm -hmm. Ooh, here's a check for $17.5 million. Mm. Here's a check for $20 million. And here's my favorite, a check for $25 million and a producer credit for moi. I don't have time. But you don't even have to read the whole script. Just, just pick one. Hey, Mr. J. What's up? Can I do my book report on this? For the last time, Milton, Batman is not literature. Batman is not literature. That is sacrilege. Opening weekend, I made over $100 million. Milton, try reading something that doesn't have sound effects and thought bubbles. Nobody talks like that, player. Zoinks! You have to do a book report on something stupid. Hey, kid, I got an idea. You need to do a book report. I need to get Marcus to read these scripts. How'd you like to make 10 bucks? Ooh, bleep, blam, boink! <laughs> sure. Okay, how about nine? What do I have to do? Just do a book report on this script and then help me get your classmates to do book reports on these and you'll be $8 richer. I thought you said nine. Did I? All right, fine. Seven it is. <laughs> No, 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 come on. No, he didn't. No, he oh. didn't. <laughs> I believe that's the game-winning touchdown. Oh. Somebody flag me for excessive celebration. <laughs> good day, good day. Hey, Tony, you got to go over here and shut this man down. Go ahead, man, give him some. I don't feel like playing, dude. Hmm? I'm chewing Eddie Einstein over there to go to the library or something. Get out of here. That's Albert Einstein. Einstein. <laughs> Never, dude. Oh, come on, man. Do you always have to be you? I mean, what did I do? Tony's our boy. We're not supposed to make him feel worse. We're supposed to make him feel better. Don't worry. By tomorrow, this argument will be history. So Tony won't remember it anyway. <laughs> hey, Samantha. Hey. Can I ask you something? OK, shoot. <laughs> I'm sorry, my bad. It's all clear. <laughs> okay. See, I have this friend, and he, well, it's kind of embarrassing. Well, go ahead. I won't judge. See, this friend, he never graduated from high school, but everyone thinks that he did. My goodness, Marcus. You are so brave. <laughs> wait, no. Yes, yes. Okay, wait. It's, I'm not talking about it. I'm talking about a friend. I get it. Your friend didn't graduate. You're so cute. Marcus, I know you're talking about you. It's okay. No, seriously. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about Tony. My friend Tony. The big bald guy or the little bald the guy? The big bald guy. <laughs> he failed his final history exam and he didn't graduate. All right, well, if he only needs to pass one test to graduate, then why don't you talk to Principal Martin? I'm sure he'll be happy to let Tony retake the exam. 
Absolutely not. <laughs> Under no circumstance am I gonna allow him to take that test again. And there's nothing you can do or say that'll change my mind. Well, that's too bad, because I got two courtside tickets to the Laker game this weekend. Bam! Done. Make sure he has a number two pencil. <laughs> Learn while you learn. You gotta read something for those book reports. Why not get paid six bucks to do it? I thought you said seven. Look, Missy, I got middle schoolers who'll do it for half that price. You in or you out? I'm in. Remember, make your oral reports pop, because if your presentation is picked for Mr. J's next movie, you'll be $20 richer. I'm on the payout, my very. What was that last part? Nobody listens to the disclaimers, four eyes. Just make these babies sing. Is this legal? You know how they said there's no such thing as a stupid question? They lied! Now beat it! Good job at spreading the word. You've got great potential, kid. <laughs> Thanks, partner. So, if he makes one of these movies, we split the commission 50-50, right? 50! <laughs> how dare you use the F word in my presence! <laughs> what it? Probably upset. <laughs> Out of my way! Okay, Tony needs our help to pass this history exam. He'll be here in a minute. Everybody act normal like any other day. Tony! What's up, man? Hey, boy, you working out? Did you get a haircut? Low and tight? With highlights? What? Hey, look, uh, there is nothing going on here out of the ordinary, player. Just need you to sit down right here in the middle. You acting weird. And why are these chairs set up all half circle? Wait a minute. Is this an intervention? Nope. It's a history-vention. <laughs> what? Tony, Principal Martin has agreed to let you retake your history final, and if you pass it, he'll give you your diploma. And we're here to help you pass. I don't need your help, especially not from him. Come on, Tony, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. You know how I am. Yeah, you know how he is. He's a jerk. He's insensitive. He's obnoxious. Okay, that's enough. No, no, no more. Okay, and he's completely annoying. That, that's the one. <laughs> Apology accepted. So why do I need to learn something that already happened? Because if we don't know our history, then we are doomed to repeat it. Yeah, like when you repeated seventh grade. Oh, I'm sorry, you just slipped out. Don't you want to pass the test, get your diploma, then get a good job and maybe retire one day? <laughs> Not really. I'm retired now. You got to give it a shot, Tony. All right, all right. I'll take the test. What do I need to do? All right, have a seat right here in the middle. Here we go. We put together a couple flashcards to help you remember. A couple? How far back in history did you go? The Flintstones? You know they ain't real, right? <laughs> Whatever. The plan. We may be in trouble. Yeah. We're going to ask you a word or a phrase, and you're going to give us the historical significance. I'm going to start with an easy one, Tony the Tiger. Lincoln. Continental. What does that have to do with history? My daddy had one a long time ago. <laughs> All right, son. Who chopped down the cherry tree? George? Jefferson. <laughs> Please, <man. laughs> Well, Jefferson was a president, and he did move on up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. OK, that is not the answer we were looking for. <laughs> What started the Great Depression? That's an easy one. <laughs> when Lionel Richie left the Commodores. <laughs> it was a sad day, but no. <laughs> Next. OK, white flag. I give up. Oh, hey, you got one right. No, no, man, I really, I give up. I appreciate y'all helping all, man, but I've missed every last one of these things. It's just our first day. I mean, we got time. Just face it. I'm the child that got left behind. <laughs> Whoa! Sorry I'm late. <laughs> oh, jeez. For me again? <laughs> Not another intervention. I want to thank you for trying with Tony last night. History isn't for everyone. <laughs> okay, Marcus, don't give up so easily. People learn in different ways. You know, Samantha's right. Some people learn, others don't. Tony is what I like to call others. He's 
getting there. Oh, really? I heard last night that Tony thought D-Day was a wet t-shirt contest. You know, you don't have to rub it in. You're right, I don't have to. I also don't have to eat this tasty pastry, but I want to. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Tony's gonna take that test tomorrow and he's gonna graduate. Okay, don't snap at me. I'm just trying to stop your buddy from failing again. But I have to admit, it is fun to watch. <laughs> Maybe Principal Martin is right. Am I just setting Tony up for another heartbreak? No. You are just believing in your friend. You just need to find something that motivates him. What's his favorite thing in the world? Hey, Chocolate Star. Cassandra. Yes? I really need you to do something for me. Perfect. Bye. <laughs> Talk to Mama. Okay, Tony, all you gotta do is get one question right and Cassandra here will give you a kiss. <laughs> Close mouth, chump. And you're gonna owe me dinner. A very expensive dinner. <laughs> and a car. This kiss is good as mine. Okay, you missed 32 in a row, but you know what they say, the 33rd time's a charm. People do not say that. Man, this is a waste of time. Let's do it again, but let's start with the kiss. <laughs> I'll see you at the car lot. <laughs> Somebody at this school can help you. I'm not giving up on you, Tony. You're getting sleepy. <laughs> Your eyes are getting heavy. Marcus asks you a question, you will give him the correct answer. Who's buried in Grant's tomb? Cary Grant. <laughs> Hugh Grant. Oh! My grandfather? Hey, you ain't even hit with time. Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. I think he hypnotized himself. Not now. I'm watching my favorite TV show. <clears throat> well, <laughs> did it work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry we let you down, Tom. Look, I told y'all guys, you got no one to hold them, no one to fold them. Are you actually quoting Kenny Rogers on this couch? <laughs> <laughs> he always quotes songs. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 Marcus, what are you doing, man? Hey, if that's a grocery list, we got a hot sauce. And deodorant. <laughs> Rap to this, Tony. I need a beatbox, Jamal. In 1773, Boston dissed tea. In 1776, America was free. Lincoln was fed up in 1861. And four years later, the Civil War was won. In 1929, the Great Depression began. In 1969, there was a fall. What is this? When was the Boston Tea Party? 1773, in Boston. Mm -hmm. OK. When was the Great Depression? 1929. <laughs> In 1969, there was a small simple man. We had a man on the moon. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? We go to Principal Martin's office tomorrow. We're going to let him know you know what's up, and you, my man, are going to graduate. <laughs> hey, 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 quiet. Shh, shh. OK, Carlos, let's hear your book report. Fade in. In a world where two nations collide, only one can remain standing. Now, as the city explodes behind him, Braxton kisses Trish, and he says, you're the bomb, baby. Hey, yeah. <laughs> OK. Good job, Carlos. Not my type of book, but excellent work. Who's next? And the aliens kept coming with no end in sight. Ah, they hit my face! They hit my face! They hit my face! Ah! <laughs> 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 
Nathaniel's hand grazed ever so slightly against Priscilla's. It was then she knew that their love would always be unrequited and forever be buried in the pantry. <laughs> Zack tears off his shirt, revealing his abs of steel. It was then we knew that this powerful man wasn't just gonna get the girl. He was gonna get every girl. Fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. That's the type of book I would like to read. Give it up for Camille. Good job. Well, I've got good news. You don't have to read it. You're gonna be in it. <laughs> so let me guess, these are all movie scripts. Yep, and you picked a blockbuster, and you don't have to do it till summer. Okay, fine. You got me, you got me. You win. I will do this movie. <laughs> and it's a great story. Yay, he picked my script! Okay, hey. Uh, here you go, my dear. Five crisp one dollar bills. Wait, but you said 20. You haven't writing? No. Well, welcome to showbiz, kid. Is it three bucks? Wait a minute, this is only two dollars. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. You shouldn't have. Right again. <laughs> All right, Tony, you get one shot at this test. If you pass, you get your diploma. And if you fail, well, I don't have to tell you how to deal with failure. That's your specialty. <laughs> All right, here we go. Question number one. Who was the second president of the United States? Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. I'll never get this one. Gotcha. Hit it. <laughs> Look, seizure or no seizure, you still have to answer the question in order to pass the test. Uh -huh. Who was the second president of the United States? George Washington was first in line. Then John Adams came second, and he did fine. It was a president. Oh. Uh. All right. That was just lucky, really. All right, question number two. Name the first African-American to win the Nobel Peace Prize. Ah. Uh. Hit it! Don't get your panties all up in the bunch. The brother's name was Mr. Ralph Bunch. All right, yeah, you got that one right, but I'm gonna take off a point for rhyming bunch with bunch. What else rhymes with bunch? Uh, Captain Crunch. <laughs> you call yourself a principal? <laughs> Captain Crunch never won the Nobel Peace Prize. I hate my life. All right, next question. Hey. <laughs> <sighs> Congratulations, you passed. What? What? <laughs> Don't even think about it. So I graduate? No. What? Why not? Look, no one graduates with an outstanding library fine, okay? You still owe 1300 bucks for an overdue book. What book? Uh, Kenny Rogers, the unauthorized biography. What? The man's a vigilante. You mean visionary? Same thing. You don't stop him from talking, I'm gonna change my mind. Okay. Don't worry about it, T, I got you covered. Consider it a graduation gift. All you have to do is spell graduation. Come on, man. Hit it! G I A D U A T I O N. Okay, get out. Got me got the home. What you get? Uh, my diploma. Yeah. All right, goodbye. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> <laughs>